What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Team Bankroll. This is the Football League Show. I am the big man on campus, and he's Flash Watson. Flash, uh, last week uh, you told us, we kind of talked about it, tread lightly uh, in the English lower leagues, and that's what we do here in the English lower leagues. But we had to tread lightly last week. We'll get back at it this week. How you doing? Yeah, good big man. And yeah, listen, there was so many wonky results last week and I've gone right into the depths of our uh, call, call book, if you like, um, in our playbook. Um, I like I like quite a few this week, but again, I think it is one of those where you just got to try and make sure that you're on the right side. I've, there's a few loan signings that have gone back to their clubs already, which we're happy with. There's a couple of managers that have gone. There's a couple of players that have gone to new clubs that I quite like, quite hopeful this week. Yeah, you know, Flash, you had some good calls this week. We both had some decent calls. Uh, Leeds got there. Uh, Peterborough got there. I gave out Sunderland, Luton, both teams to score. That got there. But there were some weird results. Um, Villa didn't show up. West Brom didn't show up. Exeter didn't show up. And I want to give you some credit, Flash. You were dead on the money. You said to stay away from Lincoln, and, and they they – they didn't get the job done. So let's get into uh, this week's action. If you're new to the show, we welcome you in. And if you're here regularly, we welcome you as well. Uh, basically, this show goes over the three lower leagues in England, the Championship, League One, and League Two. Uh, we kind of have another show for the Premier League, but this is about the lower leagues. Let's get in, Flash, to the Championship. For me, I have two plays this week. Uh, we'll see what you have as well. The first of which for me, very standard. Again, I don't really understand this price, but I'm going to rock with it. I'm going to take Middlesbrough at home against Millwall. Millwall has had major trouble. Uh, you feel like the only time you want to back Millwall is at home. Uh, this is a travel spot for them. Tough trip for sure. I like Middlesbrough at home this week, 1.9. Yeah, great price. Great price. The only downside with Middlesbrough is that they don't score enough goals, but they yeah. are up against the side that you expect nine times out of ten that they will get the job done. Yep, I, I couldn't go against you there, big man. Uh, the team I like, and I watched them close hand last night, um, outclass Southampton. Even though Southampton went 2-0 up, they good. Far too good a movement. And I'm going to go with Derby. I know it's 1.66, but I'm going to stick them in, in a four-timer for us uh, today. Four-team four, four team acker that we're going to do. Uh, the other one I like is Blackburn Rovers. Mm -hmm. Push Newcastle all the way midweek. Score goals. And at home, 1.75. I like them. That's two legs of the acker. And I think we've got a bit of a New England Patriot Friendship here with Leeds, all the spy gate and everything else that's going on. It's batten down the hatches, pull up the, draw, up the rest of the league. And Leeds are 2.3 away at Stoke. Stoke are an absolute shambles. Yeah, I like that one as well. I like all your calls. Blackburn looks real good against uh, the Tractor Boys down at Ipswich. Darby, I mean, anytime Reading play, you have to look to fade them. Um, that was a tough beat last night if you had Southampton. They got 2-0. <laughs> um, you, you think they're going to kind of chop done. But, uh, Flash, one other one. Th this isn't – again, this is really just – we've had a pretty good season on this show. I kind of like QPR a little bit against Preston. I mean, Preston have had a tough season. They've shipped goals a lot. QPR is never a team that you're in love with backing, but – you're starting to see QPR. I mean, what a season it's been. Remember at the beginning of the season, Flash, you lose 7 nil or what at one point, I think, to West Brom. Um, that had a tough luck loss over the weekend against uh, Sheffield United. Really didn't generate much in that game, but you kept them at, at, at arm's length. They've been kind of the draw kings lately, and maybe a draw no bet's worth more of a look here, and maybe it just has no value at all. But um, you know, maybe with QPR, but the other the other sides, I think the four sides we give out look great. If you're late, Middlesbrough, Derby, Leeds, and Blackburn Rovers, really like all four of those sides. Flash two from me. Two yeah, from I'm you. big man. I've got a bigger price one. If people think I told you about the side that were on the up the most in this league was Hull City. Yeah, six straight wins. Look who they're up against this week. Oh. I think they're priced around four, and they're away at Aston Villa. Aston Villa's defence is what we've Sh said will cost them yeah. all week. 
all season we've said that Villa, their defence is as old as you and I. Okay, so if someone wanted to go with Hull, I, I certainly wouldn't put them off. Remember, this side went to Leeds and kept a clean sheet and won 2-0. Yeah, they were really bad last week against Wigan. I mean, Wigan just battered them all day. Uh, Villa, you know, again, the defense is going to be, as you said, Flash, their undoing. Um, you know, they, they just can't keep goals out. They've given up, um, I want to say, 43 this year. That's a lot of goals. I mean, that's yeah. among the worst in the league. I mean, the worst d d defensive team in the leagues are Preston and Ipswich uh, and then Millwall and Aston Villa. So, yeah, it's been a tough year for Villa from a defensive perspective. But you I think we're a lot worse. Yeah, yeah. I think You've we got a lot we, worse than both teams to score and over. Yeah, no, you're I think you're right there as well. We have some real nice sides in the championship. I really like the card this week in, in England Championship. It's it's generally we've had kind of a, a, a love hate with that. I mean, we've kind of went went kind of fifty fifty all year, but I think we have some decent sides here. Uh let's go to League One. Um I have uh a few plays in League One. Um first one very similar to Middlesbrough. The only difference is this is an away side. But look, anytime I can get Sunderland at even money, I'm going to be interested. Um, I'll rock Sunderland here. Scunthorpe have had trouble all season. They've had defensive problems uh, for the most part. Um, job done. Sunderland, 1.9 flash. Yeah, just starting to turn the corner, they're telling me, uh, Scunthorpe. The last few games, I think I think they've won maybe two of the last three, uh, scoring goals. He's starting to try and keep it locked up. Um, may, maybe not like keeping clean sheets, but they're not getting the trounced. Um, the game that I think screams absolute value in this, is, well, there's two of them. Barnsley. Bradford City at home to Bradford City at home to South End. Mm -hmm. South End are playing young kids. They are struggling. They got beat last week. I think it was 3-1 at, at home. Um, and the nap of the, the whole weekend for me is Luton and Peterborough, both teams to score an over 2.5 at 2. Yeah, I really like this that guy, one. This guy could see this being a 4-3. Yeah, no, I think you're dead on the money with that one. That was one I was going to mention. W what about Barnsley? Are you giving them a shot? I mean, B Wimbledon are bad. I mean, I know, but they're Wimbledon at the end of the day. And they're the, I mean, listen, we've got Barnsley, lovely football inside, young kids going against seasoned professionals who just want to hoof it. You know, mm -hmm. you're going up against maybe like a, an NFL analogy that I always like to use, like a, a run attack against a side that wants to play field position. Yeah, it's definitely a clash in styles, and that's one of the reasons it's kind of away from my card. Plus, it's a road game as well for Barnsley. Um, Flash, one other one I'm going to throw out there. Uh, Fleetwood Town have went over in five of six. They're scoring some goals lately. Um, obviously, they're playing Rochdale. I bet a lot of overs this year with Rochdale. It's been the gift that keeps on giving. Rochdale Fleetwood over 2.5, I think, has a little bit of value. Flash, you look at Rochdale, they have shipped – 58 goals this season. 58. 58. In 28 games. That's yeah, the fans games. get their money's worth, though, don't they? Yeah, the new. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they have some fun. And, and Fleetwood, I think, could seed at least one. I think this has 2 1 written all over it. Um, so, in conclusion, in the uh, League One, I like Sunderland to beat Scunthorpe. I like Rochdale Fleetwood over 2.5. I also like Flash's shout. On uh, Luton Peterborough, both teams to score in over 2.5 at two. Uh, Flash also mentioned Bradford City against South End uh, as well. Uh, Flash, um, any other League One? Uh, any? Uh, no, Charlton no, area? no. Well, I mean, yeah, I expect to see like, Charlton are the, probably like like the whole city. They're starting to get a bit of a run together now. Uh, they're winning their games. But they're and they're winning tight games as well, which is always is a good thing. But sooner or later, and, I, and to be honest, I've got them wrong a couple of times. If they've lost maybe two games in the last ten, that will be the two weeks that I was on them. Flash, uh, you look at League One. Um, you know, Bradford's obviously playing some good football lately. Oxford has had their um, their, their run at one point. Who do you think gets relegated in this league? <sighs> I think you've got to go some Portsmouth for babies. Portsmouth for a side that will, will run out of gas. Uh, I think you you are looking at maybe uh, Sunderland and Cholton are being the two sides up there. 
because about, uh, they've got a bit of experience. They're big clubs. Who goes down, you think? Argyle, Wimbledon, and Rochdale, maybe? Well, yeah, well, I mean, listen, I, I think that's probably something we'll have to visit later on down there. And as we've already said, I mean, listen, Bradford are still still down there. And they've won like maybe four games in the last six or seven. So, I mean, it's all it's all congested. Um, I certainly don't expect Bradford to be anywhere near the bottom. Flash, if you were um, if you were a betting man, which you are, would you take a shot with Charlton at fifty to one to win this league? Charlton, yeah, at fifty to one. Yeah, I think I think you'd do it each way, wouldn't you? One, two, three. You're probably getting ten to one a place. Yeah, you could take them to be uh, to win outright at fifty to one to be promoted. Charlton at uh, four to one. Yeah, but what I'm saying is if you did it each way, there'd be an each way, um, uh, like a, you'd call it a show over there. Okay. Uh, right. if they, okay. they do a show, yeah. one, two, three, or one. Yeah. Then, then, then they, obviously they're going to be a fifth of the odds. A fifth of the odds of 50s is, is 10 to 1. That's a good point by you. Uh, let's go to League 2, uh, the final league here. Um, Flash, I got two plays, and I don't want you to talk me out of these. I'm going very simple with these. I'm taking Oldham at 2.1, and I'm taking Steve Oldham at 2.1, right? and I'm taking Stevenage at 3.25. Go on, they're free to that. We're definitely going with Lincoln at 1.6. Lincoln against Grimsby is an absolute gimme. Yeah. So I've gone, I'm going with, see, we've got Derby and Blackburn from the Championship, and then Peterborough, both teams are Scoring over 2.5. That's my acca. My other two, Tranmere at home to Swindon. I would still score against Swindon, <laughs> um, and I'm 47 year old. And the other one I like, and this is a strong one, and I, I said to them uh, again last week, Berry. Berry yeah. score goals home and away. They won last week 4 3 and missed a penalty. They won the week before when we took them 1 0 away. I expect them to win again. 2.5, Berry. 2.5. What do you think of Oldham and Stevenage? Um, I, Oldham have responded really well to the manager leaving, which was strange because I've seen them score plenty goals, do okay. They had a couple of dodgy results. And and listen, I think they've had about 15 managers in the last five or six years. <laughs> so someone's got to go in there and get the job done. But the players keep playing. Flash, how do you like this for a parlay bet? Listen to this. This is what I'm going to do. So for me, I'm going to go Oldham and Stevenage in this league, just separate. But my parlay for this week for all the leagues, Derby, Middlesbrough, Lincoln, both teams are scoring over 2.5, Luton, Peterborough, Barry to beat uh, Fars Green, and Oldham to beat Macclesfield. That pays out 50.6, Flash. Well, and you haven't put Lincoln in there at 1.6 to beat Grimsby. Uh, no, I have them in there. You love Lincoln. I have them in there. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah I bet. <laughs> I have them. I have, yeah, you can't go, yeah, you can't go past Lincoln. They have to be in there. Uh, and I'm going to put in Darby yeah. and Oldham as, as little plus money plays as well. So uh, that's my parlay. Darby, Middlesbrough, Lincoln, over 2.5 in both to score, Le- Luton, Peterborough, Barry and Oldham. Those are my five. Um, Flash, um, yeah. if you had to pick one game out of all these leagues, what's your favorite? I think Luton and Peter, but both teams to score yeah. an over 2.5 at two. Yeah, it looks it, like a It's great. But listen, um, um, listen, let me tell you now, Peter Burrow, they've just got uh, Lee Tomlin back. He's got him on loan, and he got him on loan from Cardiff. So last week, he was a Premier League player. Mm-hmm. Now he's playing in League One for his old boss, for a team that he loves. He's got too much quality. If he's not scoring goals, he will be setting them up against the Luton side, who are, they're going to be in the top three or four for the rest of the season. So for me, Luton and Peterborough, both teams to score over 2.5. Uh, real quick, Flash, before we uh, go, um, who do you think wins this league? You like Lincoln? Oh, um, no, I don't. I think that something else will come along. I think this is going to be a very, very tight one. 
Um, I, I think it, you couldn't pick this in March. That's what that, I think. You go right down to the wire. All right, Flash, I'm going to do something fun here, okay? You know who I'm going to pick to win this league? I'm going to give you something right now. I took uh, – I, I took um, – I'm going to take uh, Exeter, 80-1. to 1. No, no, no. no. They're, they're, they're full of babies. Exeter won't be there. I like Exeter. No, that's mad. No, what, about, uh, yeah, but what, about, what about Milton Keynes Dons, four? Yeah, see, the MK Dons, the thing is of them, they're, they're, they're nice, they're neat, they're tidy, but they're making silly mistakes. You know, I'm, I'm looking at this league and I'm thinking, I mean, the way that the league's going at the moment, what price are Berry? Berry, uh, six. Yeah, see, I mean, there'd be my, that's where I would probably go. If I wasn't going for Lincoln, I would probably end up going with Berry. Hmm. Interesting. Flash, as always, great stuff. Uh, we give out a lot of tips here. Hopefully, all of you are enjoying. Uh, and, guys, again, show's always out Fridays. We record this on Thursday. SBR edits it and puts it out on Friday. So I'm getting a lot of uh, questions about when this show is. Um, we record this. So this is not a live show. So uh, make sure you um, check it out. Like and comment. Let us know who you're on, oh. uh, as always. Yep. Big man, just because just obviously this is going to go out on Friday prior to the Friday night game. The Friday night game is in the championship. It's Norwich versus Birmingham. I'm thinking Birmingham are far too big. At like I think there might be 4.5 or 5. But I think both teams to score an over 2.5 is the way forward as well. Interesting. Great shout, Flash. Uh, talking about the Friday night clash between Norwich and Birmingham up in Birmingham or up in uh, up in Norwich. Uh, everyone have a great day. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back next week as always as we continue our ascent into the uh rest of the uh England uh season. You all have a great day. Thanks as always Flash. We'll see you next week. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.